all right guys so let's go ahead and break down i have an album review on the drake for all the dogs stay to the end i'm gonna give you my honest review one out of ten from the album and what i think let me just get right into it all right so as you can see all the way down here he has about 23 songs right and i think two of them is like interludes in my personal opinion i don't really think that he needed 22 songs on the track that's my personal opinion i think that like he probably should just condense it down to probably maybe 15 tracks but these are probably just some mixing songs that he probably threw together to try to get all these songs that's on his hard drive out so i understand that but i think that this album would be better received if it had about maybe maybe just 15 tracks truthfully really 12 just to keep it you know short but hey man it's drake do what you want to do right it's it's as an artist you do what you want to do and what's your vision and you feel like this is probably the best and also i have to keep in mind like when i was listening to this song the the album for the first time i had to go on the perspective and understand that this guy is not just hip-hop anymore like he's a big icon just in general in the music industry and he's got so large now that he can't please one specific audience now you might be asking well what is my favorite personal favorites well of course you already know they went off on that j cole uh with featuring j cole first person shooter um i think a man was pretty interesting um uh, just to hear tizo touchdown on it i knew that tizo touchdown was probably going to be in link with them drake shout out on my own instagram and on top of that like i feel like tizo touchdown is really uh getting that pushed uh that healthy push as far as the image look and i i think he really has some hard talent and so it just kind of makes sense that drake uh want to feature him on a track uh let's look at calling for uh, calling for you 21 savage uh i think it was i think it's i think it's pretty good uh, 21 savage i would say like his verse was pretty hard on it i actually uh not like i wouldn't say like i'm not like a huge fan of him but i just like is you know it's just it is what it is it's like it's not really i wouldn't go out my way to listen to a 21 savage does it mean that he's not a dope artist no it just means that like he just makes different music that i don't really listen to but the futures that he worked with with drake he actually been going hard not gonna lie um let me see what's uh what's some other songs there's a few songs on there i have to go back and like kind of like really look and listen to specifically which ones i don't want to play it on here on this uh on youtube because it'll get flagged but uh he has like some of these things uh, okay first of all i want to say this i don't understand sexy red like bro sexy red hasn't been out long enough it has no establishment i don't even know why you even got her on on here like it doesn't make sense to have sexy red like like i don't know like i feel like for this album the concept is kind of confusing because like the song the album is for all the dogs but it's like you have a mixture of different songs that doesn't make sense for the album like you could just call this a different album to be honest uh me personally i don't even i i've i've heard the snippet of sexy red i really just not a fan of her her music and just what she represents i feel like this kind of like something that's pushed upon uh women in general like yes you have your freedom to express how you want to express but uh there's a lot of dope artists as females right that better representation and i just i don't know like i'm just kind of tired of the same wretchedness female hip-hop artists like there's so much more to a black woman making music so i i didn't really too much care for the the rich baby daddy uh, it kind of makes sense for the title you know you have something with sexy red and scissor for this title rich baby daddy it's cool and all uh another late night uh cool track you know it's with yachty i feel like they've been on a running spree making some dope music uh together and just really vibing in the studio lately uh i think one of them that was really dope is the one that Lil yachty dropped a few years back and it was called oprah or something like that and that that was a dope track that him and drake did and i feel like ever since then they just took off with just developing a chemistry together uh there's a lot of like i said there's a lot of tracks on here that i you know i say the one with yeet i think it was i think it was pretty decent and good i 
again like i see what this project is doing like he's appealing to a more of a different audience than normal of his normal audience that grew up listening to him and it makes sense like when you're just trying to continue to get bigger and also just his way his movement i would say personally i'm gonna give y'all my rating right now i'm gonna actually just give y'all my rating i'm gonna give it a six out of the album and this is off of just like a first time listening i'm gonna give it a six bro this is based off of judging from drake himself and not comparing his music to no one else just him and what he can do and that we know that he's capable of we know that if he wants to he can rap just like off of uh what's that what's that name that track diplomatic immunity that was the track that i was trying to think of that track is hard like he was in there he came in straight up with just bars he was rapping so it shows that he still have that caliber that caliber of rapping is just he's just in a different time stamp in his in his life and i think that like just in general like it's to him it's not just about rapping no more like if he wants to do that he does and i think he's just personally bored right like after you reach such a high altitude of success in life as a hip-hop artist that you came in to the game with and from how far he's come i can understand like to even have that motivation to even come with that type of energy now i'm gonna give you my theory and i should have said this in the beginning but i'm probably gonna have this in the beginning yo check this out what if drake build an album that future summoned the big collaborators like kendrick j cole uh isaiah rashad i, I don't know not isaiah rashad because that's not in, but just think about like some of this big contemporaries the people that's in his lane what if he made an album with some of these futures right like yo what if he had a song with nipsey what if he had a song with uh shoot like what if he had a song with meek as a future uh with rick ross like you know and it could be some of these younger dudes too but I feel like his album would do far more if he had talent that's like in his caliber, right? Like he doesn't have any talent that's in his caliber. And I feel like this is just the artist's ego with a lot of artists. Like it's either they're too busy or they just don't really want to go out the way to get other artists that's inside the same caliber to make some dope music that can really get the people talking for a very long time. And yeah, that's my honest review. I already told you what i scale it as as far as a grade also i want to say once another track that i thought was pretty hard members only i feel like that was hard party next door slid on that beat bro that was hard so i had to put that into as well because i almost forgot about that and members only was this people gonna be sleeping on that but that that one's hard yeah i think it's a six i think i give it a six from drake's scale like if we're talking about drake now if we're talking about if we compare it to other people's albums the shit is an eight right like it's an eight but if we're talking about compared to what drake can do and what he's known for i have to give it a six yo if you guys enjoyed this hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button i would do more album reviews and as well as reactions and all types of dope stuff so you don't want to miss it out your boy's about to blow this your boy kj i'm out